Vegans always say that eating animals is bad for the planet and bad for the environment, but what about all the soya and all the tofu that they're eating? That's what's really causing all that rainforest destruction. Now throughout this series I've not really addressed many of the environmental aspects of veganism, and that's quite simply because most of the non-vegan arguments have nothing to do with the environment. And in fact I think we've got to the point now where most people recognise and understand that eating animals is significantly worse to the environment than being vegan is. I mean only consider firstly that the United Nations recently stated that to avoid the worst effects of climate change, the world needs to shift to a plant-based diet. But there is one excuse that non-vegans like to use against vegans, and it's to do with soy farming. There's the idea that soy farming is really detrimental to the environment, and it actually is. Soy farming is terrible for the environment. It's causing a whole host of difficulties for Amazonian tribal people. It's displaced them from their homes and also it's destroying the rainforest at a huge rate. Soy farming is entirely unsustainable at the current rates that we are doing it and it is a serious issue that needs addressing. But the thing is, 85% of the soy that is grown is fed to livestock animals. The reason that soy farming is so bad for the environment is not because of vegans eating excessive amounts of tofu and soy products. It's because because so much soya has to be grown to feed the livestock animals that we then kill and butcher unnecessarily for no reason at all. So if you're a non-vegan and you like to say that soy farming is destroying the environment and it's something that you're concerned about, then by your own logic you have to be vegan because it's your lifestyle and your actions that are causing all that environmental degradation because it's your lifestyle that is demanding that amount of soy be grown. If we eradicated animal agriculture, we'd be able to eradicate nearly all of the soy farming. And the soy farming that would be left over for vegan products and for food products in general would be entirely sustainable and it wouldn't cause the problems that we are currently facing. We can sustainably grow soya, that's not the issue. The issue is the amount that we are having to grow to feed livestock animals in general. And I think it's also important to note that the majority of the soy that's used in food products still isn't being used in vegan products. Soy can be found in a whole host of products that non-vegans buy as well. Chocolates and breads and processed foods, it's in mayonnaises and sauces. It's found in an abundance of foods that we buy on almost a daily basis. So even as a non-vegan, you'll still be responsible for purchasing a lot of soya in the foods that you buy. It's not just vegans that are buying soy products. Soya farming is bad for the environment, but only because of a non-vegan lifestyle, not because of a vegan lifestyle. So if you're a non-vegan who likes to use the criticism that the soya farming is bad for the environment, then by your own logic, you have to swap to be vegan, because by being vegan, we can reduce the environmental degradation that has been caused by soy farming.